So, moving further on to the dovetail sections. Uh, they are snow of uh, tools I'm using to measure up. Uh, consist of uh, pins, call them precision pins, uh, really just cylinders. Uh, old, um, I think, um, end mills. And then uh, internally here, I can use, or at least have used, a digital caliper like this to measure. Could also use another, well, type of measurement device. And then measuring three positions, I end up with um, a deviation from zero to minus one down to zero again so they are a little bit i mean this should be zero then plus one plus one they are a little bit um uh, bowed like that so that's normal wear uh, so that it's actually a little bit high in the middle here also so to speak then this uh, the saddle measured with pins three positions again and with a um, micrometer and um, this is the front and here we have uh, zero plus one plus two uh, which means it's a little bit slimmer here than here and tapering a little bit like that and these measurements of course precede uh, measurements that I do with, um, with the straight edge and also for the so over here here comes the nice thing with having these square and everything that you can use This has a, let's say, a reference surface and then traverse like this. So that you get a, a reading here along the length, either so or so. And this confirms uh, the other measurement that uh, there is some wear here. And this method, of course, then uh, shows the usefulness of having the sides here flat parallel to the ways in this uh, case the way the non give way I can do the give way also but at least that everything is square and parallel is uh, is nice and I can use this method here either up to here or down to the give way and I can also then lay it down shows the purpose of having uh, these as flat references also to the side there. With the dovetail I used a hand scraper uh, have a thinner but short shank blades put it on the shortest hole I have and then I have uh, bent over here to take this in just trying to determine strokes and have a pattern, X pattern, and of course the other way. I find that if I machine scrape here, I have to have very, very short strokes. And um, well, it's such a small piece anyway, so. Um, and uh, when you scrape, you can tighten it down down but when you of course do it up you have to be very very careful so not to distort the piece yeah you can see at least I have markings all over and then we have the, the pins again and uh, I'm just using the guesstimator here so I'm um, 
taking three readings again. Just trying to Okay. Is that zero? Zero. And zero. So uh, I'm satisfied. Could try to relieve, uh, sorry, to break up the point zero, so, but I'm not sure if, if I bothered. So uh, then I'm considered, I consider this done, apart from the fact that I'll just mill down this a little bit, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. So it didn't take long before uh, each side, both the Gibbs side and the other, to come in. Um, and then of course I have to spread the Gibb on this side. That should go in here. In the slot there. And then uh, match to one another. Also do the same pin test again to ascertain that I'm good there. The point and basis of this is of course that I've scraped the top here or the, the flat here so that I know the only error uh, that was left to to make any deviation in, in uh, readings here would be from the dovetail section, the section here not the flats. So now I've uh, set up uh, the saddle and the cross slide, adjusted, a little bit snug. And then I'm uh, checking the toe in angle, so I set this bar here to zero, both ends, there. Just to zero, just checking again. Okay, and then I can move it in to see the amount of toe-in I have. And actually it is quite a lot, so it is around five hundredths of a millimeter or two thousandths of an inch going in that um, to center, which is a little bit too much, I think. And that is uh, adjustable by uh, just this rear here, um, at least the spindle must be in alignment with the bed, that is uh, crucial. But anyway, if you have the toe-in angle like that, it means that with such a uh, quite small machine like this, uh, I guess everything will deflect, so you have a little bit uh, of leeway. Uh, so with some scraping on the rear, so I tilted the cross side a little bit like that with the saddle actually I've gotten it down to one hundredth of a millimeter I zeroed in on the extreme there and then I move it in and one I also taking time to make a new uh, knot there just this uh, they're actually some kind of plastic I think came with the stepper and the uh, lead screw. These are Acme something. So uh, there will be a pair of them then, one at the rear and one in the front there. So I can adjust if they are mm, all getting worn. So uh, the slop here, the plate. And these will then guide 
the cross slide using the ELS.